So we're down in Teddington at the launch of the uh, Get Pets Fit initiative, which is a fantastic new way of trying to encourage the local community to get involved in looking after their pets and making sure they're fit and healthy and fed the correct way. Today, they're, they're weighing in their animals. Then we're going to be having a chat about how to feed your animal correctly. There's going to be some agility course going on. The local vets will give you some advice about how, how best to, to look after your animals and the weight clinics that they're going to be running during Way in Wednesday, which is happening this month. We spoke to vets, uh, over 200 vets, and they say around 77% of pets they see are overweight. It's not just dogs, it's also cats, um, rabbits, other animals as well, and they're susceptible to being overfed by their owners. So we're really trying to address that by teaching them the correct way to feed and uh, look after animals. People are treating their pets thinking they're being kind, but it's the, it's the old adage, they're killing with kindness. Because when you have a dog that's overweight or obese, or a pet that's overweight or obese, it's been clinically proven and, and, and research has demonstrated um, that those animals that are overweight and significantly overweight, you can reduce their lifespan by up to two years. So flip that on its head and, and by by actually keeping your pet to ideal body condition, you can expand the length of their healthy life. So my advice to pet owners would be to get hands on, not to shy away from the topic, but to actually recognize and become aware of where their pet is on the pet sizeometer. So whether they're already at ideal body condition or if they're a little bit overweight or obese, regularly monitoring and, and, and doing that at home yourself and combining that with their weight will, will allow you to, to bring them back into and, and help you to bring them back to an ideal body condition if they're not already there. And if they're there, then it also helps you to keep them at it. It's really simple. You're just looking at ribs, at waistline and at tummy, um, but, it, but the pet sizeometer are there to help. Regularly weighing once a month would also be a really good idea and looking at the food that you're feeding. So feeding appropriately. Look at the feeding guidelines on the back of the pack. Um, make sure that you're, you're weighing out the food and not just pouring it into the bowl and also making sure you give appropriate exercise. And having fun. Having fun is really important. So exercise with your pet, have fun with your pet and it'll strengthen the bond that you share with them as well.